Hello, good morning. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I've been back on this channel talking about gray hair. Please forgive me, it's been a year, but I'm so excited to continue the conversation. Today, like I mentioned, I'm getting my hair cut for the first time in three years. I'm super excited. First of all, I just love a good salon experience no matter what. I love getting my hair washed. I love being pampered for an hour and a half. I love getting offered, like, would you like some coffee, tea? I'm, I'm always like, wait for the third option. Like, are they gonna say wine, sparkling, anything? Cause I might indulge. It's just one of those days where you're just like, I get to get taken care of. Okay, so that's on an emotional level. Then on a personal level, um, you know, I, I actually don't think my hair's ever been this long. I, I think I can say that with like, look, it doesn't even fit in the screen. <laughs> With like 99% confidence, I think I can pretty much say my hair has never been this long. But I kind of like it. it I, I honestly didn't cut it because we were in the middle of COVID. And I think I was just being lazy. I mean, even when the salons open, I, I didn't end up going and I wasn't scared per se of like getting sick. I was more just like, I think I was just being lazy. Like I just didn't want to go. God, so many things just fell off during during COVID. Then once it started growing longer and longer, I'm like, actually kind of really like it. So then it was like one of those things where I was like, maybe let me see how long I can get it to go. The longer it grew, I'm like, the more I liked it. I love that I can put it up in a huge top knot. I love that I can put it up in a cute front top knot. I love that I can twist it. I love that I can braid it. Like I can actually like braid it and then like wear it to the side and like the braid hangs down. It's just like, so many cute ways to wear that you can't really wear when it's kind of like this length or 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 shorter even like a high pony looks cute also like sometimes it gets really annoying because i'm like i don't think i know how to have hair this long i'm like sometimes it gets stuck under my armpits <laughs> sometimes if i like put a bag on real quick i'm like ah well like i roll over in the middle of the night and i'm just like okay i'm gonna need another extra 30 seconds to like bring my hair with me all that to say, I've thought a lot about what I wanted to do. Obviously like, okay, so I think I, I love the legs. So I think I'm just gonna go with a trim. However, historically when I get haircuts, I go in and typically say to the hairdresser, like, what do you think I should do? <laughs> like sometimes I'm like, oh, I definitely want it chopped. Most of the time I would say 90% of the time, I don't really know. And so then I just lean on kind of inspiration from them and if they're like let's chop it i'm like yeah let's chop it i'm not i'm never really like afraid to do things with my hair because it first of all it's fun second of all it just always grows back so if i hate it i can just you know pin it back while it grows back and then that's that so what i'm thinking for today is like i actually do like the length so i'm thinking i probably want to keep it just trim off the split ends and the dead ends the other thing is too now that my hair is growing longer i'm like actually it's whiter on top here now because it just keeps getting grayer and grayer and so like then in the back if uh, I'll try and insert like a photo here in the back so you can see from like neck down, it's actually like, I don't want to use the word dingy, but it's still kind of like brown-ish. It's way less gray on the bottom than it is on the top. So I kind of want to like, maybe it'll always be that way because my, maybe my hair will continue to gray. And so the top will always be ahead of the bottom potentially. Right now it just kind of looks a little bit two-toned. So I'm excited to kind of like get rid of that a little bit. I was considering actually brightening up the ends because of that reason, because of that reason, but also because I really love like a funky, edgy hairdo. I used to have piercings in my ears, like fun ones that I like went to an artist studio to get. Um, I always have wanted a tattoo. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. I love expressing myself through my hair. I just like miss kind of having that edge. I feel like the gray hair definitely gives me kind of like an edgy fun feeling. But at the same time, like I do love changing my hair. I do love having like a fresh, edgy, fun look. And I kind of miss that playfulness. So I think what I'm gonna do is add in some, well, what I wanna do is add in some white or gray like ombre from the bottom and just like brighten it up that way and just make it like surprise-ish and like fun. My hairdresser said at one point that that's probably not a good option for somebody with my hair color because you have to lift it so much to get it to that point where it's gonna look white or gray that it becomes so brittle. Like it's just not really a healthy option for me. But now I'm hoping when I go back that my hair is light enough now being gray that she'll be like, oh yeah, we could do that. 
I'm also going to a super skilled colorist. Um, she actually is like, I think, officially named the best colorist in Atlanta. I don't think I would just let any hairdresser color my hair gray. I feel like now that I've had these conversations with so many women, it's gone wrong for so many people when they try to ask their hairdresser to color their hair gray or help with that transition that I'm like, I probably wouldn't go down that road with somebody who was like kind of experimenting or didn't really fully trust their skills. Okay, so the other cool thing is like, I'm like, if I hate it, if I don't end up liking it, I'm like, I can just cut my hair to like, you know, a comfortable length again like this. And then all of this experimenting is like gone. I mean, why not, right? Like really, I think I also just want to really play with the idea that like going gray doesn't have any rules. And I read stories about women saying, I went gray or I tried growing gray and then I dyed my hair again. Or people saying like, it's my second time around. And I'm like, I just love that so much because that's the way it should be. You should be able to try it, decide if you like it. If you want to go back, go back. I mean, it's literally hair. Like if you want to play and express yourself through your hair, do it. I think the goal with these conversations is to not live out of routine or live out of societal construction where we don't, where we're not even making the choice and we're just going through what we think we need to do. So many times I've heard women say like, I didn't even know that I could grow gray. I didn't even think that was an option. And I'm like, exactly, because we're just taught or we're constructed to go gray, dye your hair. And it's like, we just follow that path without even thinking. So I love stepping outside of that box and I love seeing people do that. And I love seeing people make a choice about, I, no, I actually am making a choice to dye my hair. Like I, I tried it, I didn't like it, I'm dyeing my hair again. And I'm like, fantastic. Same with me. I'm just like, you know what? I, I tried it. I love it. I'm going to keep it. But actually, let's try playing around with what that looks like for me right now. Um, so I'm really excited to see. There's a big chance that I could get there and she'd be like, We're, it's still not a good option for you. Like your hair would fall off. And then I'd be like, okay, bummer. Just trim it. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> absolutely love straight off the bat number one where do I start okay love the blow dry um this was done with like a rolly brush and just kind of like bringing the rolly brush through with the Dyson hair dryer I have the Dyson I love it um I think it's great for gray hair because it dries hair super fast and you're not exposing it to heat for a longer period of time which can like add to like hair yellowing or brassiness. So I think it's like honestly the look that I always want when I try to use a curling iron, but then I use a curling iron and it's like ding ding ding, like too tight or it looks like too planned. This is just super fun, big, sexy, like, ooh, yeah. I'm just loving every bit about this. So I asked my hairdresser, what would you call this haircut? Because you know how Every haircut needs a name, like when you're just like, you know the song, like, I want the Rachel, like, or give me the wolf, by the way, the wolf is apparently the new, like, trending haircut name. I don't know if I would ever order the wolf. Whatever. Maybe I would. Anyway, she said it's just a long layered. She goes, it's very trendy in California. So I was like, oh, so let's call it the California long layer. She's like, yeah, let's call it that. So anyways, it's just, long, it's just long layers is what it is. Second thing I love, she used a shampoo on me by L'Oreal. It was called L'Oreal Heavy Detox. No, L'Oreal Metal Detox. Noticeable difference. Like, I think it was like more than a shampoo. I think it was actually like a treatment. 
And so like I was telling you before I got my hair cut, like the ends were like a little bit like worn down, like brassy, like just the top of my hair is whiter than the bottom of my hair. We'll kind of just like blend it all together. I'm gonna show you a photo. Just like stripped all that out. Kind of obsessed with this treatment. Next, talked about adding, I mean, obviously didn't dye my hair, obviously. We consulted, talked about it. She was like, listen, I'm just gonna have to lift your hair so much like I'm gonna bleach the crap out of it. So it's gonna be dry, dehydrated, brittle. Like it is what it is. Like basically you're just gonna like be ruining your hair. And I'm like, Ugh. she talks to me out of it every single time, but I'm like, I want something fun. So we settled on super fun idea. I've never had extensions in the past, so we're gonna try extensions. We found some that are like this kind of darker color here. And then at the bottom of the extension is like a frosty gray white. And so it'll just kind of be like adding, you'll see it coming in looking natural instead of just like a big white chunk, like it'll be like brown and then turned to white. So there are the um, tape-ins. I've, like I said, never had extensions before, so I had to show them to me. And what it is is just like a long band of hair with like adhesive here and then another long band with adhesive. And then you, you pull it up, put it in your hair, blow dry it so they like stick to each other, blow dry it, then that adheres, and then it just grows out as your hair grows. And you would go in and they would move them up like every, she said, six to eight weeks. I'm like, I'm okay with that. I might even just do it once and then see how, like I might just do it, let it grow out and then take them out maybe. I don't know, we'll see. The one kind of caveat with that I think is you have to dry, you have to like blow dry the extensions. You can't let them air dry. So I'm like, that's not really conducive to like a gray hair lifestyle in my opinion, because I love letting my hair air dry. So it's less heat treatment. I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can like maybe if there's a way I can like pin my hair up, isolate the extensions, dry those, and then let my hair air dry. I don't know, we'll see. Jury's still out on that. So uh, Creature, love going to that studio. That's where I go to in Atlanta. I'm telling you, today I had the literal best shampoo of my life. Like it was a full on head and neck massage. At one point I was like, is he about to adjust my neck? Like, does he have a side job as a chiropractor? Because this is literally the most brilliant position ever created. So intense, like just the neck massage, hands all the way down the back of my neck. I was like, keep going. So yeah, so now I feel like I want to invest in a couple styling tools, specifically like a big barreled curling iron. So I feel like that's gonna be my next project is to look for like a big barreled curling iron where I can kind of get this look on the daily without like a lot of heat treatment, but just like touch and go, like give it a little zh zh zh. So if you have a favorite iron that you like, let me know. I might end up te testing a couple and then maybe we can do a blog review about, you know, which one comes out on top. So anyways, here it is. Three years later, no wait, yeah, I think it's been two and a half years since I last, since the big chop. So the big chop grew all the way out, whatever that date was. Maybe it was two years, two and a half years ago. This is the next time that I've cut my hair. So here we are. It's sensational. I love it so much. Thanks for watching.